Welcome back to the HM channel. Today on Double Feature Sunday, we are going to look at Howard the Duck from the What If series. I get from you got it, Ollie's for $9.99. At first, I was saw these when they first put these figures out. I say Howard the Duck is probably not going to sell that well. And he didn't. He was sitting there on the pegs. Then I went back um like a couple days ago. And there's something to say. HM, go and look at them. And I went back. It was maybe like, maybe like one or two left. So people was gobbling them up. People gobbling them up. This is also have a couple of bill of, uh, is a bill of figure piece that's inside. Some from the What Is series. Um, If you've never seen uh, the What Is series, What Is series was a pretty much, um, uh, it was on uh, Disney Plus. And they, they were just, to have scenarios where maybe um um it was one episode where uh what would happen if Captain America didn't get the um the super serum ser into him um stuff like that um that's what pretty much what what if about or maybe it's another episode where it was on there about um um the lot of them turned to zombies and um, I got a chance to watch a couple of them episodes. I thought they was good. And and then plus also what if it had with the the guy who was like a watcher. And if you want to know who the watcher is, it's pretty much you ever seen any Marvel movies as um, the watchers. They can't really get involved in, in, in the what is series. I mean, I, I, well, they can't get involved with what's going on. They have to let the characters, I mean, they have to let the, the people um, really pretty much deal with, what what what's going on? They don't post to get involved at all. If you don't think about it. So I further do. We got this time how to duck. I don't think this video gonna be long. It should be kind of short. So as I say, it's, it's a part of the build series. There's the um, now it's number five. So I'm getting I believe the torso. It, it does take six figures to get the um this whole thing built, as you can see. I don't know when to get all the figures. I do. I, I know some are there. Um, I think I got that red skull. And then how the duck is number five, and stuff like that. So here's the back of it. Pretty much the same, as you can see right there. So I will going to cut away. And that doesn't. It doesn't really take a lot to do it. But sometimes I cut away. I come back, and we can. Uh, we're going to see how how the duck. Gonna look. Hope he looks as cool. Cause we can't really see how he's gonna look. Hope he look cool, and be a fun figure to mess with. So I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. And we're gonna check out how the duck. And I'll be right back right after this. All right, guys. We got everything out of the packaging, and here's the torso itself right there. Um, it's pretty much like a Moon Knight type figure. And, and everything that I will say, remove this after I'll be right with you. I will say it's going to be a very tall figure, so it only comes with the torso, it doesn't come with the legs or nothing like that. You gotta get other figures to get the um, the legs, the arms, and the head, and the rest of the pieces. And if you notice, it can stand on its own without the legs, so um, you got some like got a lot of detail to it at the back of it and everything. Like that's not, that's not too much detail. I mean, it does have detail, but no, not a lot of paint on the back. All the paint is pretty much on the front, and these like wrappings and stuff on there. You got the, his that neck piece is like a a, a clear um a, a clear uh purplish type color. You want to say? So you do have that. So I'm gonna put it over the side. Probably I might finish building it. And another one, another piece that you do get. I'm gonna unwrap that and show you what you get. Also, I can get out. Okay. Hold on, kind of get out of the plastic for y'all. I mean paper, not plastic paper for y'all. So I didn't see this episode, so I don't know. You do get a, a head sculpt that's going to go inside there. Now, I 
think it's the episode where they had the zombies in there. Like I said, I didn't see that episode. I have to go back and check that out. The reason why. And it does have this little plastic thing. The mind one of them things you see in the gumball machine. You just plop that on there like like that. I thought it was probably a snap. Let's see if it snap. It doesn't snap. But you do get the head sculpt. I got to go back. It doesn't move. It doesn't have any articulation to it. It's like one solid piece. Um, that's what you get that. So I got to go back and watch that episode. I wish that snapped. That would sound much better if it snapped. Yeah, boy, you put some gumballs in there or something like that. I don't know. So here's the further ado. And we're going to unwrap him. And this video should be near about finished. Here's how the duck in his suit right there. The hat is not removable. I wish he was. Um, and everything. Uh, I like I like the head scope. I really do. It's she is short. I do like the head scope. Um I can tell you right now, it's not a lot of articulation to it. His feet, I mean, his, his legs is all molded um, one solid piece. I, they could have put some articulation in the legs, but we'll get into that in a second. We're just going to check out the all around of the figure and stuff, and we're going to find out where Hasbro cheeses out, cheeses out a little bit and where they try to try to fill us in a little bit. So it does look like Howard the Duck. I know probably a lot of people did seen the Howard Up the Howard Up movie a long, 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 long time ago. I seen it. It was okay. So I, I said the hat is not removable. Um, the head do go left and right. You do get a little bit up and down, a little bit side to side. You can get the arms to go up that far. Down that far, you do get a nice bend. Fire, see. Let's see how that that bend. At. There you go. Got to turn it. Make sure you turn it around. You get a, a forty-five degree bend at the um at the elbow right there. Do the hand do rotate all the way around, around? No hinge enough like that. And that's pretty much it. About really about the how the duck figure. The torso is is a, is a rotation in the upper movement. You can get some side to side. I just don't know why they didn't give no articulation articula articulation in the um in the in the legs. They could have. They could have retooled that. And you do get two peg holes at the bottom. I don't know why they didn't do that. I really don't know why people. Um, Hike he he's not he's not how I mean he's how the duck but he can't sit down. He can't sit down. Why why did they didn't do that? I don't know. I do not know people. Um you figure as a as big of a company as uh um Hasbro is, they would they would took the time out to to him some articulation and his legs, where he could at least sit down and bend. It could have you, you got room to put um, uh, a, a knee bend right there. Do his feet move? His feet do rotate, and they do go in and out. That's that's sad. I mean, how the duck can't sit down? He can't. You can't even get him in a running pose, or or make him his hat. His hat could have been removable. Is I lucky I only paid nine 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 ninety nine for him. I didn't like I didn't pay like twenty some odd dollars for it. So pretty much for a head that looked like it belonged in the, in the gum mount machine and a, a torso that I probably probably would not not finish building. That's it. That's all your um. That's your whole thing. The, probably the best thing out of the whole line. I, I'm not mad. It's just they could have did better. They could have did better on this figure. I know they could. Come on, Edward. You could do better. But that's it. Um, stay tuned for uh, the second half um, double feature Sunday. And I'm going to wipe my tears off, off the floor. 
And I will bring you that episode of Double Feature Sunday. And we hope that episode will be much better than this one. And I'll be right back on HM Channel. And I'll see you in a second, people. Be safe out there. Enjoy your collection. And even if you do get a holiday duck that don't, he can't sit down or you can put in a running pose or have fun with the figure like you really want to. It's how the duck. So I'll be back. I'm sad. I'm going to wipe my tears off the ground now. Let me be. I'm not good. <laughs> have a good one. All right, guys. This is HM back. I can't let y'all go and see Double Feature. Not just yet. I'm going to show you something. Now, you see this Bart figure right here? You see this Howard Duff figure? Now, this Howard Duff figure is a little taller than Bart. I'm going to put you, I'm going to put you, see? See how much, much taller that is than that Bart figure? Now, I'm going to put Howard Duff down. Now, this is from a totally different line. Now, this company is nowhere big, as big as Hasbro. It's a nice size company. They're very popular. I think it's, I think it's, um, 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 I'll come back to you. I can't remember who, who made this, but I'll come back to you and I'll, and I'll post it. Now I'm going to show you something about this Bart Simpson. Now he do have a bend in the elbow. And I know we saw the review on him. We got the bend in the elbow, wrist, head does go left and right. And look, you got a bend at the knee. Look at that. A bend at the knee that, uh, on a figure that's smaller than you, and you got pick holes. And you try to tell me that Hasbro couldn't put a bend in the knee. Now, I know I buy a lot of Hasbro products. The G.I. Joe's, Star Wars, Marvel Legends, um, um, Fortnite. And you can't, you couldn't, you couldn't figure out, I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm just griping. You couldn't figure out how to put two, a bend at the knee for a figure. Now we can go to the double feature. I could not get, I, I could not let y'all go. And I'm going to I'm gonna show you one more time. Look at this. Look at that. And he stands. He's, I got a little quick enough. I was messing with him. And he can stand. And he has a hinge in his, his wrist. Look at it. It's in and out. And they couldn't do that. What's this? And then if you bought this at the time when this one in series came out, you would spend about $20 for it. I never cost. But this is... Ooh, I'm ready to cuss. <laughs> but this is really pissing me off. Even at $9. So I'm going to let y'all go, and we're going to go into Double Feature. And the sad thing about it, what we're going to do the Double Feature on is going to be on a Star Wars figure that is a Hasbro product. So I'm going to put Howard the Duck on the bed, and I'm going to put... Um, Bart, back on the skateboard, the mess with the Joker, and get on the Joker's nerves. I'll be right back. All right, we are back, guys. Welcome back. I, I, I'm sorry about the gripe, but um, on the HM channel. This time, we're going to look at the Mandalorian figure from Star Wars. I did get it from Ollie's, as you can see. Now, I normally don't do this, but... I did it on this one, not because the price was $9.99, but I wanted to set this scene up right here with the three figures. So I did bought three of these, and we're going to, I'm not going to show all, all three of them because they, they're pretty much the same figure. I just want to have it on my shelf, all three of them flying. Now, the only thing I got get, get to get to get is some um, flight stands. I didn't order them yet, but I will. I I did look in Target to see if they had any because they normally do. I did I did buy them. They're pretty decent um, flight stands. They're not bad. They, they are good. But we are going to look at this Mandalorian figure from the Mandalorian series that was also on, on Disney Plus. 
just had to wear a kin on in. Small chicken hazards and everything. Um, for the ages four and up, no onion babies. So our family do, you won't hear no rattling. I'll be right back. I'll pause, come back, and I'm going to make this video, this second half of the video, as quick as possible. And um, we're going to get through it. I'll be right back. I don't know what this is for, but the queen. <laughs> Get into the back effect. I might break it. Oh, it does look like a two. I gotta say, it does look like she was in two. Yeah. The, I was hoping praying that it goes up and down. It does. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is for. Mm. I didn't see the episode. Mm. All right, guys, we are back. We got everything out of the packaging. And you do get this piece right here. Like I said, I didn't see the episode either. But you do have that. I wish it was something functional. Um, anybody who has seen the episode, you can tell me why this is what this is for. I just thought it was a cool figure. That's why I bought it. Um, and you do get the, um, the two guns. They're pretty much the same guns. The handles are painted. <clears throat> they are the flat piece of plastic. It's a much harder plastic than you normal you get, but you do get that gun and that gun right there. So that's the accessories. Thin, but it's accessories. <clears throat> mm. So here's the round of figure. One one the one the one of the key things to get me was I love the helmet. I love how the I love how the helmet is. It's got some nice, nice detail in there, nice paint and everything. Um, I love, I love how the armor looks, how, how her gear looks. So you can see where she do have like um, crossbows or missiles on the side, and right there she does have the two trigger hands. I wish she maybe got him with two extra hands. Um, the belt and stuff do have the rocket jet pack rocket on the back. No blast effects pieces in there, but you can make it like the rocket was flying off and flying off. You, you, I wish, wish it did. I think the rocket is immovable. I want to say, it's a, yes, it is movable. There's the peg hole right there. So you can move that if you want to. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna pop it back in for y'all guys. It does, it's nice and solid, so it's not gonna fall out no time as soon as you do get the, um, the Mandalorian uh, symbol on the side. 
on both sides, as you can see. I don't know if that one's crooked or supposed to be crooked, but mine is crooked. I'm just, I, it doesn't really always gripe with me. It's not really an issue with me, but I do point out for the review. It is crooked. So it is a head scope under here. And I saw um, bits and pieces of on YouTube before I watched this. Oh, and the, um, the visor piece does move down because you can use a, a, you know, to move it up and down if you want to. And I saw how she looked, and I just looked at it before I did the view. So here's her head sculpt. And it does look really a lot like how the, um, the actress do, um, who play the role, looks like a lot. How she got her hair back and everything. So I think they did an excellent job on that and everything. So I'm going to put the head sculpt back on her. I'm going to helmet back on her. I don't think it should rub any paint off on there, but I think it's enough room in there, so it shouldn't rub any paint on there. You can see the, um, if you look under, you can see the uh, the neck and stuff like that. So we're going to go to articulation, we can wrap this up, and I can get all your people here for the day. Um, the head, I'm going to take it, I'm going to just take the helmet off. You can see it. The head um, goes left and right. You do get a, some side to side. It can go down right there. Um, you can get the, uh, the arms go up that far. The shoulder pieces do not repeat it for go, um, the articulation because it's a cut right up in there. It can make it go in. So it doesn't stop from articulation if you want to take it up. And it's on, on both sides, so you're good on both sides. You do go rotation in the upper chest. I mean, a, a lower waist area, you know, for upper chest. You do get a, 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 you can go back and forth a little bit. I wish you go back a little bit more. Um, a little bit side to side. Um, you can get a nice, you can get a bend at the elbow right there. Doesn't break up the scope or anything like that. That is good. Now, it looks a little funky maybe in this part, but it doesn't really break it up at all. You do have a rotation in the hand, and it's also on a, is it on the hinge? No, this is not the hinge at all. But you can, now the, these, oh, I thought there was glues on there. These are like floating pieces, so they won't really get in the way. So you can't get the lady to go that far out. You do have a thigh swivel. Mine just tight, tight, but you do have a thigh swivel. You do have a, a double knee right there. No boot cut. But you can get the foot to go. Oh, mine is real stiff. I'm afraid to move that sucker. But it is a movement in there, but it's just stiff right now. And it's on a rocker. Can get, you can see it can go back and forth. And you do have two peg holes at the bottom. And we're going to put the guns in her holster. As so. One here. They do fit kind of snugly. So they should not fall out of her holster. We're going, to, we're going to give it the shaking test. No, they don't fall out. And everything. All around, this figure is giving me oh, what I want. Much better than the first figure. Um, anybody who watched that, you watched that, that video. Or oh, you just watch this video. Um, I like. I really like this figure much better than Howard the Duck. Um, uh, all around, I think it's a cool figure. It's a good pickup. Um, let's see if I can get. See if she's gonna stand for me. The only downside I had to say about this figure I don't like. Um, um, I wish the jetpack had where you could put bass effects in there. So if you were to put on flight stands, it looked like she can like like she's flying. Or if it did do that, and like 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 a smoke or something like that, something a little different. That's the only downside I had to say about that. Um, um, maybe she could have came with two fist hands, or something like that. Or maybe a a sword. I think she did have a sword in the episode. Um. All around, I think it's a cool figure. I like it. I'm happy. Um, I'm can, I'm more happy with this figure than in the uh, Howard Duck figure, and I can and and, and um, 
Um, I do I do apologize for that 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 gripe we review, but when something like that hits your heart that you wanted to have fun with that figure, you thought you could have fun with that figure, you couldn't have fun. But um, all around, I hope everybody have a good day, good night. And this is HM out, and I will talk to you guys later in the next time review with with HM. Or this one should be you guys. Everyone be safe, and thank you for watching, and. Thank you also for listening to the gripe if you did look at this video and be safe.